Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Monster Hunter video. So, in today's video, we are going to be reviewing one of the newest monsters in Nereida. This is going to be a rank 3 review on this monster. So, I hope you guys are excited. If you are, make sure to drop a like, that channel, if you on. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So I want to give a huge shout out to Clockhog for letting me borrow his account. He went ahead and got this monster to rank 3 already. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and review it on his account. So, once again, huge thanks to him for letting me borrow his account. Uh, what's nice about this monster, first of all, is the traits. I really like the traits. I'm a huge fan so immunity today is not the best to start off with but it's okay because rank one will get you immunity to blind which is also kind of bland but then look at this rank three you have bulwark so 50 percent less accuracy against this monster basically which is really nice um and then look at this status caster area poison to all enemies so if you don't want to run for example the poison beast just for the poison specifically you can go ahead and run like a shock piece or something else you can add on another torture if you want then it comes with another which is status caster area torture immunity this is really really good even though it's a status caster i really like it um this is a huge huge um what's called help towards seven sense talents of course um I, I like it i actually like it and of course the beasts as well so the beast won't really affect you um having this monster on the side with like for example team speeds or even speed rings so this monster has two elements uh, there's a nature and also magic that's good Let's take a look at the stats. 17,934. Don't worry about it. It's not an attacker. 241,076 life. That's pretty good at rank 3. And last but not least, at rank 3, you have 11,396 speed. That's also pretty good. So overall, stat-wise, good. Let's take a look at the skills. So you have a room of positive statistics from one enemy. Gives an extra turn. That's actually pretty good. It reminds me of uh, Madden Fusion. You know, the PR skill with the extra turn. Pretty good. Let's take a look at the other one. Moderate nature damage to all enemies applies poison and trade disables all enemies. This is pretty good against Pangoloia. It's pretty good against any, literally almost any monster, you know what I mean? Besides Dodge Area, of course. Having access to PER and also trade disable already, pretty good in my opinion. Let's take a look at Laia Fail. Alright, it's a room full of negative status effects and applies torture immunity to all allies. Heals all allies by 30%. This right here is also really good. The fact that it comes with NER, you know, torture immunity and also 30% heal, that's really good. Let's take a look at the blessing here. Removes negative status effects and applies life regen to one ally, gives an extra turn. Oh god. Okay, so you even have an NER skill. It's just that uh, comparing this to Mana Fusion skill, you don't really give the extra turn to the monster that you want. You give it to yourself, but you cleanse everything that's on them with the life regen and then you gain the extra turn. So it's pretty good. I mean, you can start off with, for example, Luke's Blessing if you're not running up against Ant Spation. Then you can do Spare of Laugh, PER, Trade Disable, and then you're. Attacker could go in next and basically attack whoever they want. You know what I mean? So it's pretty good in my opinion. And also, you don't have to worry about, uh, for example, Static Shock or something like that because this monster has Static Caster Area Torture Immunity, which should last about 3 turns max. Um, but anyways, let's take a look at the ultimate. Sacred Power. Heals all allies by 50%, trade disables them, ruins father satisfacts, and deals very heavy nature damage to all enemies. So that's pretty good in my opinion. Comes with a 50% heal, trade disable, and PR. That's huge. Let's see if we're missing out on any other good skills. So you have this uh, Solar skill, which is a moderate nature damage to one enemy, ruins positive status to one enemy, and 50% chance of applying possession. Do you really want to gamble the 50% chance? That's really up to you, honestly. I wouldn't, in my opinion. But if you want to go with it, it comes with PR as well. So go for it. You also have trade table to one enemy. If you don't want to go with AoE, you have a single target one. So for example, you can do, for example, Master Press first, trade disable single target, and then next turn, you can do AoE. Or you can do AoE first, and then single target in case if there's a dodge area monster in the enemy team, you can run both dodge, um, both trade disable skills if you want to run them alongside each other. You can do that. Uh, torture Immunity with Life Regen, that's there as well. But I highly recommend running this instead. Or sorry, this one right here. This is this is huge. I would say do the fail over this one. Although this is a spammable one. Keep that in mind if you need a spammable one. This is really good. Now, last but not least, Fairy Deity, which is a moderate nature damage to one enemy, applies poison. It's a spammable one. I don't recommend running that one, though. Anyways, overall, these are the four best, in my opinion, that you can actually run. Let's take a look at the relics. So you have Staff as one of them. Cool. You can do Master Staff, Ecolary Staff, and it doesn't have anything else, right? Yeah. So you can do either Master Staff, um, this one, Ecolary, and last but not least, King of Atlantis. I am probably gonna go with let's go with the Ecolary staff, sure. And then for Essen, you can do a revival one, or you can do a healing one, or stamina regen one. But you already have a stamina regen relic here on the staff. So might as well go with like a revival one. So the Shiro Essen, go with it. Um the bird, 
sure i guess we could go with this so in terms of runes um you can do triple team speed or triple speed if you want to or you can do two speed one team speed really up to you um Clockhawk went ahead and gave me permission to remove the runes of the level 9s, of course, and go with whatever rune, level 10s, of course. So I would say maybe do two speed of 10s and then one team speed. Um, just make sure to kind of like mix the speed. So for example, it'd be Nereida here, and then you have Mr. Beast as well. So we're going to do Mr. Beast on the side. How's this? So we can do maybe like one speed or triple strength Mr. Beast should be fine too. We have a Pangolith on our side, and then maybe we could do like two team speed here. So this monster will be faster than Mr. Beast. Let's see. 18k speed. 13k. It should be faster. Hopefully it is. Um, I'm going to gamble this. Hopefully it is. Okay. But do we have torture immunity? Oh, sadly we don't. What if you get hit with like the area shock from the beast? Let's hope we don't. Okay. Let's just hope we don't. Um, Fred went ahead and attacked me back. Let me see. What are you running? Or, is there an anticipation on your team? There isn't. Wait. What about this one? Dark Fast Century? Uh, kill it. this one doesn't really matter as much okay so i guess we could give this one a try what do you guys think um let's go ahead and revenge him we're gonna revenge that player hopefully we take in the first turn with uh Nerza. i should have tested an adventure map but <gasps> oh look at that that's good okay oh you have a completely different team okay all right well this should be good because there's no shock beast right like that, that's that's good that's actually good so you can start off with the per get an extra turn and then what you can do is you can, for example, if you need to NER anything, for example, there is that ignition. If I want to get rid of that, I can go ahead and NER that, get an extra turn from that. And then you can go ahead and do like a AOE trade disable if you want that. So I guess we get AOE trade disable. Sure, why not? So as you guys see, we went ahead and trade disabled everybody. And now we can go ahead and attack whoever we want. Actually, it goes to everybody. You know what I mean? Now, let's say this, this was Pangaloya. The trade disable would have worked. And then I could have done save the ocean and look at that. Dang. Okay, that's that's really good. Okay, so here we go into another <laughs> battle. This one has anticipation as well. Um, well, this one's gonna be difficult. I wish I was running uh, Elvira on my team. It, it would have been easy to win this. Elvira with Mr. Beast. Or sensitivity. I guess we can start off with the NER straight away because we don't have torture immunity. If we had torture immunity, it would have been a huge help and basically helped prevent uh sunburn and burning i wouldn't have taken damage but it's okay we can cleanse everything torture immunity and then heal so we might as well go ahead and go with that first okay so oh my gosh look at that damage against that monster if i do it you're just gonna resurrect so um let's uh let's target the let's, let's target this monster seven cents so the torture immunity helped me against seven cents as you guys could see so it does help out a lot um we can go ahead and stun this one so he doesn't oh my gosh the sun didn't even land oh great that's just awesome you want to head and cleanse and sadly my nerves are dead but it's okay because the monster can come back but i think i will die here if he uses his aoe skill oh you didn't oh there's pangolith on my side so everything went towards him it's just the megaton looks a little weird you know what i mean it doesn't look like megaton anymore because uh of the new update so uh if i do trade disable oh no if I PER, you're probably going to apply Anticipation to everybody. Um, actually, if you do that, I can just go ahead and heal everybody straight away. But I'm also risking Pangaloyath dying, so... I don't know if I want to do that. How about we do this? We PER you. Trick of the Light. Oh, okay. Um, we heal or we can trade table. What do we want to do? Let's heal. I really want to heal right now. And then we can do Massive Skill this monster so Yurl comes back we have to eliminate Yurl once more and then after that we'll be fine sadly I don't have any more single targets oh god we go with that we went ahead and life regen my monster died there's no way I'm coming back after that so sadly I can't and I don't have any more single targets oh god I, I'm dead here I can't do anything I don't have any more single targets <laughs> well this is GG's I'm not going to win this. Force sensitivity. Recharging. Okay. You went ahead and PE yard. Extra turn. And there goes that. Okay. Well, Pangolite can't really clutch this out. Huh? Okay. Let's go ahead and back out then. Um, so, Nerida, I mean, if I maybe if it was a rank 5, it would have been really good. It would have been better, actually. Because I would have Star Skits for Air Poison. And also, the Torture Immunity. Giving me, you know, Torture Immunity, basically. 
know what I mean? Um, so that would have been a huge help. And also, keep in mind, this is a rank 3 that I'm taking into PvP in the top, like, 20s. So if it was a rank 5, that would have been a lot better. You know, huge stat boost. I could have survived those hits. It would have been really good. But um, I would say not use this monster on PvP on, I guess, offense as much. It will be good in Team Wars, but for PvP offense, you got to be careful because they're running lots of Anspatian monsters. For example, the first player right now, Laurel, is actually running the same Anspatian monster, which uh, also has a skill that applies Anspatian to everybody, but she's not actually running it, it looks like. Okay. Uh, but yeah, just be careful of Anspatian, you know what I mean? And there's also monsters like Elfira, for example. So be very careful. But um, yeah, I mean, overall, the monster is actually fantastic. One of the best, if not the best monster right now uh, of this era, in my personal opinion. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think about her. That's going to be pretty much it. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.